My name is Alon, and I'm a graffiti writer. soft or something like that. Car. I'm a member of three different crews. Insane, VHS, and artsy. All of these are cliques of European writers down the street bombing and painting trains. I write alone because I like the combination of these letters and because I love to go out and paint by myself. That way I have good control over what's happening around me. Also, I get more pleasure from bombing alone. The most important part of graffiti to me depends on where I am in life. During some periods of time, I've only painted trains. Others, I've been into only street bombing. And sometimes I've only painted walls. At this point in life, I'm definitely down for street bombing. Stockholm is a good place to bomb. If you put up a tag, the chances are big that it's gone the day after. The high pressure from this zero tolerance generate more fast and fresh stuff. A dedicated writer will bomb those spots again and again and again. Great. <laughs> Yeah, but it was, it, was, it was better but I mean, during the day. Yeah, yeah during the day is best. Like, we have to jump and just some t-shirt and stuff. I bought for different reasons. It's about ego, it's about having fun, and it's about fury and anger. 
I don't feel any anger nor aggression against the wall or a door. I'm horny for it. You know, everyone carries a kind of anger inside. There's different ways of getting it out. People that don't find a way to get that anger out turn crazy. To me, paint can at times be some kind of therapy. I do not have a political agenda when painting graffiti, but bombing in itself is political. I consider graffiti to be the last avant-garde art form. If bombing was legal, it wouldn't be as interesting. Graffiti gives people a chance to understand that there are rules, but that you don't actually have to follow them. Graffiti makes people angry. That generates discussions and the possibility to view things in another perspective. Advertisements are playing with the minds of people. People are obeying the power of different companies. Companies that are manipulating the minds of people. Graffiti don't do that. Compared to advertisements, Graffiti is giving the city something without wanting something back. It's a healthy disorder. Graffiti is in between something beautiful and something that's completely wrong. I think graffiti will be on the streets of our city forever. My mission is not to make more people understand what graffiti is about. My mission is to create some chaos into this straight society while having fun doing it. Stockholm often requires you to plan before hitting the streets. Of course, you could go out and bomb without planning, but that's not always my style. It also depends on which city you're in. All cities have different rules, and a good bomber knows about those rules.
One of the best parts about being a graffiti writer is traveling and meeting new people. You meet people that are totally different from yourself, but that you still share a lot of things with. People you would never meet if you were traveling as an ordinary tourist. My playground right now is Europe. I feel like home anywhere and everywhere here.
graffiti is not just a part of my life now. It will be a part of my life forever. If you're a real graffiti writer, graffiti will be a part of your life until the end. Shit. All this talk about a grass base wanna go out of bombs. 